All right, Shalom. This is a brother in the hall. You're from the GMS Orlando camp. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rukakudash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who are the elders of Yashar Allah, and a sincere salutation to all you who are preaching this word and believing this word, and to the Akwath, who are believing this word in all truth and in sincerity. Yahweh is the name of the one they ignorantly call God. Yahweh Shai is the name of the one they ignorantly call Jesus. Bahashim is in the name. Raka is spirit, Kodash is holy, Akyam is brothers, Akwat is sisters, Shalawan means peace, and Yashar Allah is Israel in the ancient Paleo Hebrew. Now I want to go into a lesson through the spirit, all right, on the Lord basically freeing us, you know, the scriptures say you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free, all right, and we've been freed, so to speak, from the bondage of this world, you know, from the deception of this world, Lord willing we be a part of that number. All right, so it's 1 Corinthians chapter 7, and I'll start at verse 20. Let every man abide in the same calling wherein he was called. Art thou called being a servant? Care not for it. But if thou be as made, if thou mayest be made free, use it rather. For he that is called in the Lord, being a servant, is the Lord's freeman. Likewise, also, he that is called being free is a Mashiach servant. So the Lord has given us this understanding and he's loosed us from the world, all right? What, what's the part of the world, all right? The mentality of the world, all right, is uh, that possessions is success. You know, that uh, Esau, his science is science, his knowledge is knowledge. That his version of history is true. And our people are subject to these things. The scriptures talk about our people being subject to the fear of death. All right. Matter of fact, let's get that. This is Hebrews 2 and 15. And it reads, you know what? I'll start at 14. For as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same that through death he might destroy him that had the power of death, that is the devil, and deliver them who through, who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. And that's a part of the uh, bondage of this world. You know, Esau has taught our people to fear death because there's a certain level of uncertainty because Esau doesn't tell the world what actually happens when people die, how life actually works. So a lot of our people, the majority of the people on the earth are subject to the fear of death. This is what gives them that yellow mentality. All right. This is what makes them uh, move to the beat of Esau's drum. Because he has the power of life and death, so to speak, because he's he's been given the earth. And what I mean by he has the power of life and death, he can tell people what life is and what death is, even if it's not the truth. And we've been freed from that. You've been free from the expectation that your family had of, of what you should be in the world. All right, with your friends in the world, you've been free from the agenda that they own. You know, they're, they're still serving the, the flesh. Lord willing, we're not a part of that number. You know, unless they repent, the Lord freed you from that bondage. And now you're serving unto Yahweh by Shemel Shai as opposed to being a servant unto sin and lust. Because that's what two-thirds of our people are, are consumed in. They're consumed with the, the lust of this world. All right, matter of fact, let's get that in Peter. So real quick, this is 1 Peter chapter 4 and verse 1. For as much then as Hamashiach has suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. For he that has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin, that he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh to the lust of men, but to the will of Yahweh Shemel Shad. You've been freed from those expectations. You've been freed from the bondage that comes with this world, man. The burdens of men. You know, Yahweh Shad said that in Matthew 6 chapter, take no thought. Now, in this world, that's a foreign idea because, again, they're locked into the bondage of this world. They're servants to the lust of men, to the will of men. And Esau benefits from that. When you think that life 
uh, consists of having a whole bunch of possessions, Esau is in control of all the possessions. And that's the carrot on his stick that he keeps our people in bondage with. That's why we're telling our people, arise ye and depart for this is not your rest, but they can't receive it because again, light has come into the world, but men love darkness rather than light. And it's a precious gift to be free from that bondage. Now in the flesh we do have, we suffer in the flesh. In this world we do have certain tribulations that we go through. All right, yet and still we have something that's priceless and that's peace of mind. You can't you can't put a, a number on the peace of mind. All right, First Peter four and three, for the time past of our life may suffice us to have wrought the will of the Gentiles when we walked in lasciviousness, lust, excess of wine, revelings, banquetings, and abominable idolatries. And that's all this world really got to offer when you sit back and really think about it. That's all this world really has to offer. And you've been loose from that rat race because eventually you get to a point where none of that fills you. None of that. Matter of fact, let's get that. Because our people think that all of the things that Esau gives them, that if they could just obtain the bag, if they could just obtain uh, the house in the suburbs, that it's going to fill that hole that's in them. And it's not. Serving the Lord is going to fill that hole and that purpose. Now, the balance is that you're going to have tribulation in the world, all right? But the gift is that you have peace of mind and you know your purpose. Our people are searching for their purpose in all the wrong places, man. All right, this is Jeremiah chapter 50 and verse 6. My people have been lost sheep. Their shepherds have caused them to go astray. They have turned them away on the mountains. They have gone from mountain to hill. They, they have forgotten their resting place. And our people are looking for rest in the will of, the, of, of men. Lasciviousness, excess of wine, revelings, banquetings. This is why in every major city in America, most, the majority of our people look forward to going out on the weekends. Because somehow they think that that's going to give them comfort and rest, and it doesn't. It makes them more restless. You've been freed from that rat race. That's a blessing unto you through the Spirit. All right, matter of fact, I mentioned it. And passing, let me just grab it. This is John chapter 8 and verse 32. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So you become the Lord's freeman. But the truth isn't just to set you free, it's for you to labor for such as be like unto thee. To bring your gift to the table through the Spirit. Because every brother has a particular gift, and the Lord's freed you from that rat race of the world to serve him in whatever measure that you have. And we go into this all the time. You got brothers that are deep in history. You have brothers that are good at exhortating. All right, you have brothers that are helps. You've been freed from the bondage of this world to serve the Heavenly Father. And right now, this is what the servants are doing. And whatever measure that the Lord has given unto you. Yet you're free from the rat race of this world because this world, let's get dead. Let's get that. There's Ecclesiastes chapter 2 and verse 26. And it reads, For Yahweh Bashim al Shai give it to a man that is good in his sight, wisdom, and knowledge, and joy. But to the sinner he giveth travail, to gather and to heap up, that he may give to him that is good before Yahweh Bashim al Shai. This also is vanity and vexation of spirit. So you've been given, Lord willing, we be a part of that number wisdom and joy there are moments where it don't seem like that because you're going through trouble in the flesh and that's a part of the peaks and valleys but as the Lord's freeman you've been given the precious gift of knowledge wisdom and understanding and joy whereas the world they've been given to gather up they are they fully engulfed they are fully involved and obsessed with gathering possessions all right building what they call generational wealth all right and staying here for the foreseeable future. So that mind has been given over to that. Yet the Lord has given you a mind to be free from that bondage, to understand the end of this thing. Because when, he, when Egypt falls, when this place falls, the hope of most of these people fall with it. Whereas in that time, your faith becomes renewed. Strengthened. Lord willing, we be a part of that number. You've been loose from that. That's man. This is Isaiah chapter 10. 
and verse 20 and it reads and it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more again stay upon him that smote them but shall stay upon the Lord the Holy One of Yahshua Allah in truth so instead of uh, depending and, and uh, being uh, desirous of the validation of the so-called white man we have returned unto the Lord according to his grace and mercy as it stands this day Lord willing unto the end but two-thirds of our people they stay upon Esau all right so they look for his validation and that's why they chase his uh his system they chase success inside of his system because it's a it's a desire to be validated by the heathens and Esau Edom man and it's the spirit of the Lord that takes you from that. that to serve you, how about Shemal Shai? And you've been freed from that to serve. And that's the beauty of this whole thing. That the Lord is freeing his people, beginning with the elect, but it begins in the spirit. All things are being returned unto Jacob. All right, beginning with the elect, under Yahweh Shai. All right, real quick. Luke chapter 17 and verse 20 And when he was demanded of the Pharisees When the kingdom of Yahweh by Shemal Shah should come He answered them said The kingdom of Yahweh by Shemal Shah Cometh not with observation Neither shall they say Lo here or lo there For behold the kingdom of Yahweh by Shemal Shah Is within you There's a certain level of freedom that you have Through the spirit that people can see Even if you're not going in rooms And you know trying to do the most you know brothers really just try to get in and get out concerning this world but there's a certain level of freedom that people notice on you perfect example is how 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 little you say and how little you speak around people of the world people at your job how you're comfortable with holding your tongue and holding your peace because most people speak to be validated Even those little things through the spirit is a confirmation of you being free because you're free from their expectations. A lot of people do things in the world to be accepted. All right. They trim their ways to seek love, as the scriptures say. You've been freed from that, man. As I meditate upon that, that's an extremely special gift that you can walk in rooms and the Lord has given you a, a certain level of peace that people envy. Even if you're at the grocery store, this person don't know you from a can of paint. Their only interaction with you their whole lifetime has been those 15 seconds. And there's something that they notice that they can't stop looking at you. It's the light of Yahweh by Shemal Shai. Because you're no longer the servant uh, of the will of men. You're the servant of Yahweh by Shemal Shai, man. And it can be seen. They, they may not be able to call it out, but they can see it. They can recognize a certain type of spirit that's on you. That's you being the Lord's freeman. So what if some did not believe? So what if the world don't understand that? It ain't for them to understand anyway. And that's why this is a, a, a man, this is a blessing. What big mama and granny them and, and un uncle and them, whatever they, they thought that you was going to be in your life, you free from that. A lot of jakes in the world are trying to live up to what other people expect of them. You free from that, man. That's a blessing when you think about that. Because you got a lot of jakes that are chasing this bag and when they don't get it, they feel like they're a failure in life. That's because they're trying to fulfill the will of men. They're trying to fulfill the expectations of other people. You're free from that. Your lies to serve you out by Shemal Shai as it stands this day, Lord willing to the end. That's a blessing that in the end it's going to speak and not lie. The, the closer we get to the end, the more this becomes apparent. When people see the news, they react to it differently than you. That's because you're free from expecting this place to live and, and continue forever. The Lord has given you the spirit to make peace with, with his will. That's a gift. All right, this is uh, 2nd Edges chapter 14. And I'm going to start at 14. Let go from thee mortal thoughts. Cast away the burdens of man. Put off now the weak nature. And set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee. And haste thee to flee from these times. 
for yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. And the Lord has to give you a spirit to do that, man. To be free from the bondage of this place. To be free from the delusion of Babylon the Great, which is America. And that's a blessing, man. And that blessing is supposed to be utilized through the spirit, all right, to serve brothers such as yourself. You know, and that's why through the spirit, the Lord's given every brother a gift to put forth to the ministry for the edifying of the body, for the building up of the elect. Lord willing, we be a part of that number. But you've been free from this world and their expectations to fulfill the expectation of Yahweh Bashim al Shai concerning your measure. All right, so Lord willing, this was edifying with that. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory. To Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakodash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who are the elders of Yahshua Allah, and the sincere salutation to all you Akia, who are preaching this word and believing this word, and to the Akwath who are believing this word, and all truth and its sincerity. Shalom.